Omaha's beaten Chattanooga 1-0. They just subbed in Eddie Gordon, who's going to get the ball here and decide, I'm going in deep. I'm going to cross it to the other team who's going to put it in. Own goal. 2-0. Goal! We're dancing. Own goal. Suck. You guys missed that. You never planned on watching it. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Got some burnt faces red. All right, I'm going to give you a couple seconds here to lock in your bets. Do you want white, red, maroon, blue, red, or white, green? Those are the four options I'm giving you. I'm helping you out. One of them wins this race. Lock it in. You can't change once the whistle blows. And they're off. And white, red gets an early lead, kicks down the rope, cuts off the other competitors, three laps around, and you are the winner. And he's going so fast. I mean, big lead and you're there. It's only three laps. First turn, first turn. Oh my God. He's gone. White, green is off of his horse. Meanwhile, blue, red takes a huge lead, but you got maroon coming down, finding a gap. Now, blue, red is in a big lead, but at think you don't want to be in a big lead here because you got to take that turn so he's like slow down slow down slow down let him catch let him catch let him catch oh my god they're down white green horse is on the loose he's in the lead running without a rider maroon wants to pass him tries to make an inside move he's off the horse maroon's riderless white green's riderless blue red out of here Oh, my goodness. The fans are on the track. I think it's over. That fan gets absolutely knocked down. Fans, what are you doing? There's wild horses running around, and that must be the owner of White Green, I guess. You guys missed that, and you're you're actually, you're very upset you missed that. But now you've seen it. Head to the sand where the Crab Brothers are having a beach off, playing against each other in the winner's bracket. Loser goes down to the loser's bracket for losing crazy volley here to go up 2019 in the pivotal third match. Just back and forth, digging, slamming, digging, slamming, passing, jumping, sweating, glistening, out. The one crab brother wins, the other crab brother loses. These two kiss about it in the crowd. Weird time to kiss, but love is love. Forget the Crab Brothers. We got the Cop Cousins playing for Team Germany in the Cycle Ball Grand Final. And then Raphael Cop just takes out that dude right there on Switzerland. I'm like, get out of here. And he's like, oh, he dove. Wow, what are you kidding me? Well, I didn't even touch him. Look. <laughs> oh, maybe I touched him. So. Switzerland gets a free shot, a penalty kick, and he's looking all angsty about it. And save up tops. Oh, crossbar. No way. Now Andre Cops got the ball. He's going to suck both of the Swiss right in, right in. I got you where I want you. Kicks it out to his brother, pokes it in for the long distance goal. They go up five to two. They wouldn't look back. Proud tears galore. And this is one of their parents. Shikari Richardson chasing her first title at the Track World Championships, determined, staring ahead. And I love this side shot because it just shows you that what they do is different than what we do when we run. Look how still the upper body is. The head's just locked in. The legs are going crazy like a mechanical machine. It's pretty wild to watch from that angle. And she wins. Can't believe it. Looks up, looks up. Did I, did I, oh my God, am I, did I, did I, have I, don't trip. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, where the, I did it. She beats Jamaica, wins her first title. She's back disqualified from the Olympics last time for marijuana. Stupid. Um, Not her, the rule. And that mascot bows down. Creep. Get out of here. Last and probably least, we have the final over of this cricket match, the T10 Masters in the U.S. They needed 22 runs from the last six balls. They got six off the first one, and then they get one off the next one. So now it is 15 runs off of the last four balls, and the righty is now up to bat as we would say and look see that see how he steps forward he anticipates he's going outside and just crushes that over the 
barrier for six runs. So now it's eight runs from three balls. And the bowler is like, oh, okay, I bounced that pretty good length, nice and short. He stepped right into it and crushed it. Let's go a little deeper. So he bowls this one a little deeper, and the batsman can't do as much with it. He only gets one run. So good adjustment from the bowler. He found the new slot. Look, this is the overlay of the two balls. And the first one bounced there and the second one was way deeper and it had more what we would call run they would call swing so good adjustment from the bowler to hold him to just one two more balls left to hold him because all they need is seven now the lefties back up here's the first one oh he tried to go he tried to go long again but he went too long he went full length baseball swing never bounced and that one is six and now they just need one run from one ball but why not just hit six again? That's cool. The team from New York wins. They needed 22 runs from the last six, and they scored 20 math. Math intensifies. They, they had one left, so that would have been 22. Then they got five. 27 runs. You guys missed that. And now for the fan of the week, the guy that got trampled by the horse, the parents of the cousins, the dancing soccer fan, or the kissing couple. Let us know who won. I think we're going to actually put it in the comments so you can vote. We'll keep track. There's a nice comment on last episode saying, make the fans from the actual events we just watched. And I was like, great idea. Great idea. Shout out to that person. I should have screenshotted your comment, put it in here, and really gave you a shout out. I didn't vote. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Have a great week.